They're taking a risk, but regional councillors are considering a complete upheaval of Dunedin's public bus service. For years, they've struggled to please residents amidst constant complaints about confusing timetables, irregular routes and complicated fare structures. And Council Chairman Stephen Woodhead says continuing with the status quo will only bring about the same criticism. So I just note that, uh, yes, this is a bold plan, but I don't think tinkering with the existing is, is the answer. Councillors don't know if the proposed system will solve all their public transport problems, but they say the draft changes are worth putting to the public. And the Council's Director of Corporate Services, Wayne Scott, says they might just work. These are significant changes to the, uh, to the thinking behind the passenger transport network and um, and to take some opportunities of, of moving forward and, and growing patronage and providing a, uh, a, a great um, passenger transport service. The Council endorsed its draft regional public transport plan for public consultation and councillors also confirmed a cheap student bus fare trial has been permanently implemented by operators. Another reason for patronage to improve. And it's not only the council that's been involved in developing Dunedin's new public transport strategy. The New Zealand Transport Agency, who we've worked very close with and been extremely helpful in this, this whole process, did offer some comments mm -hmm. um, and clarifications of national positions and the like. Dunedin residents will have a month to analyse the proposed bus changes and give the regional council their feedback after which the proof could be in the pudding if councillors decide to revamp the city's bus network accordingly. Rosie Mannins, 39, Dunedin News.